Hello, my name is Jason Mackey. I'm a certified PGA professional here at the Kalahari Golf Academy at Trapper's Turn. Today we're on the golf course and I've pulled the caddy roll once again. We're talking about reading greens, a subject that happens a lot when I play with amateur partners is reading greens. Now, comments and concerns that people have is they just have no idea what they're looking at. The problem is they're being too focused on actually the golf ball and the hole. We just walked from 75 yards on into the green carrying the bag. We had a wide picture of what might happen uh, with the undulations and the slopes. That's number one. That'll help you out a lot, a bigger picture. Number two is looking around the green at some of the surrounds. I've identified two spots on the screen, one pole here and one pole here. Standing near our golf ball, we can tell the edge of the green over here associated with this hill is higher than the golf ball. Also, it's higher than the hole. Easy to see from standing farther away. Secondly, to the other side of the hole, you're right. We see that there's a pole associated there in a swale or valley, an edge of the green that sits lower than the hole. We know that our ball must travel, obviously, from high to low. Looking at edges of green is issue number two. Third, if we can imagine that this green all of a sudden got three inches of rain all at once, the water, it's got to go somewhere. No good designer of any golf course designed a flat green, so the water's going somewhere, not on the screen. If we look back over there, we can see that there is a, a swale, and if we walk in that swale, we'll actually find a drain. So there's three good things we look at for reading greens. If you like help reading greens or any other subject in the game of golf, please contact me or your local PGA professional. Thanks for visiting the Kyle Howard Golf Academy at Trapper's Turn.